Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a video that, you know, saw a comment for, thought it would be pretty cool. I don't think they'll do well, but it would be interesting to see what the team looks like and, you know, if they could chalk up a few W's in the NHL. They're not going to make the playoffs, obviously. We got the Baltimore Brawlers here, and essentially what I have done is gather the best players from all the non-North American leagues, so the NHL, the AHL, QMJHL, I guess I'll just say the CHL, but there's also a other CHL, but yeah, the, uh, what are they called? I guess like the major junior leagues, something like that. It's some weird term, I believe. But anyway, those are all out. And then the other leagues are all eligible. So we have a 77 overall team, which really isn't that bad. That's pretty solid. They're only three overall lower than the Arizona Coyotes who have been removed but it is kind of cool to see some of the names there that I did not expect to see I'm gonna be honest and I completely forgot about so I'm excited to put the lines together I'm just trying to there was something I wanted to say oh yeah I didn't really get to fact check so I'm just using the most up-to-date rosters and I just went through the non North American leagues basically and I, I can't do any sort of you know background checking right now or googling because Rogers is having a massive outage, so <laughs> I, I can't do anything. Let's go ahead and start the season here with the Baltimore Brawlers, and I want to go to edit lines. Krejci is still 84 overall, by the way. That is wild. So I'm going to not allow the coach to edit my lines. Get out of here. So we've got Krejci, Pontus, and Yager at 49 years young. What an absolute stud. We've got Lash playing with Placanic and Dominic Cahoon. Our team is just not like bad you know it's pretty good but is it nhl worthy no Krejci has abilities too yo let's go david what a certified mad lad and then we've got sammy vatanen playing with joel and then we got my boy down here who i feel like i've been seeing a lot recently in vili sariarvi and our goaltenders we have hogberg and jacob kovar and i'm pretty sure that we have Bo. Would be a scratch goaltender. Maybe, okay, yeah, he's right there. Land and bow. That is it. So, is the team going to do well? No. But is it going to be interesting to see how many games they will win in the NHL? I think so. Also, Thomas Lukanich, the man, the myth, the legend. The reason that I own a turtleneck. We are losing games, but they're really not that bad. Oh my word, what is going on? We're actually decent? I mean, that can't last. It's unsustainable, but still. The fact that we were even that good for a minute there is just remarkable. Look at us go. At this rate, I don't even think we'll be last place in the NHL. I didn't see this coming whatsoever. But you do got to account for the post-trade deadline collapse that just happens. And there's nothing you can do about it. We are past the trade deadline now. We're losing some games, but a bunch of overtimes there. Three, four wins in a row. Five in a row. Holy crap. Let's go, Baltimore. Wow. That actually shocked me. I knew we weren't going to make the playoffs. That comes as no surprise whatsoever. But the fact that we won as many games as we did, let's go. I kind of want to try running this team in the AHL. I think I'm going to do a season mode with the AHL and plug them in and see how they do there. Which they should dominate, I would think, based on this. I mean, they got 75 points in the NHL with 34 wins on the year. Finished above Chicago. And how many other teams did they finish above? There's got to be more than just one. Where are they? Oh, never mind. They finished second last in the league. But they're only two points behind New Jersey. Four points behind the Islanders in the wild. So they were right there, you know? Like, it's not like they got blown out of the water or anything. It was not the top 16 teams that made it to the playoffs because the Senators finished 14th and the Kraken are at 17 and made it in. I also, I guess, well, yeah, because the outage, I don't have internet right now, but it's going to say they're probably going to do a roster update soon because ADB, the Brinkat, Headed to the Ottawa Senators. That is craziness. David Krejci led the team with 55 points. Yager had 47. Joachim had 46. Soderberg with 43. I'll just go through the whole team very quickly here so you guys can see. Vili, only 18. What are you doing? Let's check out our goaltenders. How bad did they get lit up? Oh my word, Marcus Hoberg. A 907, 299. He actually did pretty good. He went 23, 22, and 4. It was Jacob that blew it for us. He went 11, 19, and 3. With an 896, 318. Marchand is going to win the Art Ross. He got 101 points. The only player to surpass the 100 mark. Let me just sort by forwards, although it doesn't make a difference here. Anyway, McDavid, 96. We also got 48 goals from Matthews. 56 from Ovechkin. That will be a Rocket Richard. Marner with 84. 
All right, let's check out defenseman. Who led defenseman? Quinn Hughes with 73. Yossi had 61. Fox, 59. McCarr down here with 52. That's outrageous. Robin Leonard, 39 wins. There's actually four goalies here with 39 wins. He had a 916. Shesterkin at a 920. Let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup just for fun. And then we'll plug the Baltimore Brawlers into the AHL. See how they will do in the American Hockey League, which is not so American because there are some Canadian teams in there. But I guess, you know, it's like maybe the North American Hockey League. That's what they were going for. I'm not really sure. However, I know that in the OHL, and I think the WHL has a team as well that's in the States. So, you know. It is what it is. Carolina gets the cup, the Golden Knights with the Presidents, and the, ooh, NHL 06 rematch, I believe, right there. Because I think these were the two teams that were in the starting play now for NHL 07. Marchie gets the Art Ross, as we saw. He also takes home the heart. Norris goes to Quinn Hughes. Matthews gets the Lady Bang. Raymond with the Calder. Sebastian Aho with the Con Smythe. Igor gets the Vesna. Reimer with the Jennings, the Masterton goes to Larson. Bergeron gets the Selkie. Marchi with the Ted Lindsay and Ovi with the Rocky Richard, as we saw. I'll show the playoff tree quick here, just because why not? There you go. Let's check out how the team will do in the AHL. A new season mode, except this time, it's going to be the AHL. We're going to leave everything else on pretty much default. Doesn't really matter, because we're not going to make any trades. Computers can trade if they really want to, if they ever so desire. And I will take out the... Lowest rated team, which it seems like there is two with 68. Actually, there's three. Providence Bruins are also 68. I'm going to take out the Barracuda, just at random. Oh, never mind. The Manitoba Moose are 67. I almost missed you. You almost you almost snuck under the radar. Yeah, they're going to destroy the AHL with 77 overall. It is going to be a wash, but I'm going to select them. And let's jump in anyway to see... How dominant it actually is. Here is the team. We've got Krejci at 84 overall with three abilities. Defensively and in net. Yeah. Let's see how they do in the AHL. So far, so good for Baltimore. They are coming out strong here. And I think, yeah, there's going to be a trade deadline. Hopefully, we won't see the collapse this time around. Actually, I don't even recall seeing a trade deadline. Is there not one? That seems kind of weird. We are, in fact, in the playoffs to the surprise of hopefully nobody. Let's check out the player stats real quick here. Forgot, season mode, you can't do that. You gotta go to this one. We got 76 points from Krejci in 72 games. So point a game, Yager at 61, Pontus with 56. I'll just, yeah, let's show you real quick because we're not really super interested. I just wanted to see how well the team would do overall and if they would win both the season and the playoffs. They definitely won the season with that record, 104 points, but they weren't really that far ahead of the Charlotte Checkers, who had 99. Watch them still somehow get rinsed in the first round of the playoffs. Milwaukee didn't stand a chance. What about Chicago? Let's continue forward. Another... Oh my word, they actually pushed to Game 7. I was worried for a moment there. We've got another playoff W. Charlotte Checkers in the finals. And they actually beat them! They actually beat them. Wow. They didn't end up winning the Calder Cup. That's crazy. Ryan Lash with 22 points in 23 games. He did quite well, must say. Yager had 20, Krejci 21. But let's check out the playoff tree. Maybe the awards as well. See how many Baltimore awards there are. So there's one so far, two, three. And I think that is it. No, four. What about individual? Nice, Krejci. Oh yeah, kind of cleaning up here a little bit. Let's go Hogberg. Krejci again. Yeah, we won quite a few awards. But unfortunately, we didn't win the Calder Cup, the most important one. Here's the playoff tree. That's going to do it. So that video was pretty interesting. Thank you for that suggestion. I enjoyed that one. It was cool to see some of the players that, truthfully, I kind of forgot about. So, yeah, if you have any other ideas, comments down below. I'll see you soon.